hello, Nigeria. There's no better place to be, so don't you ever change that dial. What's up, everybody? It's Kavam Zasukwa, and you're watching Hello, Nigeria. Just get me somebody, anybody with the next available flight. Uh, you have a very beautiful home. I know I asked you I want anybody, but not that girl. Ah, go in there, let me show you your room. Yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why you can't wear queen suit, eh? Devil! You're not here to study, you're here to work. I think you could probably rise to be editor-in-chief of this magazine. Was it Raymond I just saw you with that you're kissing in the car? Raymond is single. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. He wants to marry me. What's the big deal? I made you into what you are today. <laughs> and look at who made this. <laughs> are you being serious? What is it? I gave you my daughter and you took that way straight, man. In a strange land indeed, that is the trailer we have talking about modern day slavery. And we have been talking about it not just here in Nigeria, but globally it's been a topic of conversation. Now today we have the executive producer of that film who has actually come all the way from the UK to Nigeria to give back. And she'll be telling us her journey, her story, what inspired it, and you know the little details and the, the behind the scenes that you need to know about. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Rosalind Sani. I just say thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me in your studio. That Great was to a have very, you very beautiful trailer. <laughs> and I think a lot of people will be able to connect with this because, mm -hmm. like you mentioned, modern day slavery. We march against slavery. We yep. talk about anti slavery day, recognize mm -hmm. the fact that the day the, the abolition of slavery yeah. documents were signed. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we are the architect of our own oh, misfortune yeah. in many cases. So to modernize it, modern day slavery. Exactly. <laughs> so, first of all, is you said it's a true life story. Yeah. What inspired the story? And can you tell us the story of that person, just, you know, um, briefly? And I won't give you too much details now because it's basically what the film is all about. Yes. Okay. It's just a lady that she saw my last job, which is Labo Life is a Journey. And then she, she's a lady that has been in the UK for the past, um, I think, 15 years. But before that, she has spent eight years under a particular lady, you know, calling themselves super rich in the UK. Um, came to Nigeria, conned the parents to give the daughter to them, promised them heaven and earth, promised them everything, I'll give your daughter this, give her whatever. Taking her back to the UK is now a whole different ball game. All right. The, so she goes there and yeah, goes into something Into really something intense. else. Now, there are many people who in Nigeria, even we find that in religious houses, people go and their major prayer point is the yeah. fact that they want to leave the shores of Nigeria because mm -hmm. they think things are not working. And we see every time, every year, the number of deaths on the Mediterranean keeps I'm increasing. People still tr keep trying to go through the desert and they still keep dying. Mm -hmm. Now, from your perspective, because you've seen this, you've heard this woman's story and you've told the story as mm -hmm. well, how really difficult is it to want to go and start a life there because you feel things are hard here? Um, I'll, first of all, I um, appeal to Nigerian to say, I know Nigerian is hard. Everybody keeps screaming about our governments are really bad. Going to another country that you don't know the terrain, you don't know what you expect from there. So I really I appeal to Nigerian to say, please, I know Nigerian is hard. If you don't have a, a, a proper document to travel abroad and have a proper job there, please don't go. Mm because you don't know what you're getting, getting yourself into. A lot of people, they bring them in on a fake passport, get into UK, it's a very hard life there. I've lived in the UK for the past 20 years. I know what it is. I lived there for 10 years without a paper. I couldn't step out of my house because you're so scared of the police. You're so scared the police will catch me and deport me back to Nigeria, which you don't want. So if you don't know your faith or where you're going to America, you're going to um, Libya, you're going to France, going to London, please don't go and get yourself into slavery there. 
That's great. Now, yeah. when you talk about slavery, what kind of slavery happens there? Modern day slavery, because you talk about it, and people are still like, "No, I must <laughs> enter that." It's because you are there. You, you are, look at the way you're sparkling. You can yeah. come back and I tell know. me that it is not good. <laughs> but what? Please paint a picture for people out there. A vi because there's some people at the moment who are watching, I who know. are dusting their fake passports, passports to, to go. To just so <laughs> tell us what by slavery. Paint a picture for us, please. And um, when you say modern day slavery, it's people that are highly educated that are doing this thing, the doctors, the lawyers, the, the solicitor, the accountants, and they, they get into this act because of the nature of their job. They're very busy, they don't have time for the family, they want someone to be there to look after the children. But what we're saying, or what I'm advocating for these people, if you bring anyone from Nigeria to London, don't treat them like a slave. Please treat them like human beings. What are the kind of things they make them do? So oh. maybe we can paint it visually. <laughs> Not like we're trying to put fear in their hearts, but to let them know what an example of the things they make them I do. I think they should come and watch the film. Brilliant. Mm. Then they will know. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. So for people to yeah. have an idea, when is the movie out in cinemas? It's, uh, we're doing the premiere on Friday, 2nd of February, which is this Friday. And the general cinema release will, um, I think, 2nd of March. All right. Yeah. Well, why, why that um, one month? We couldn't get a date. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the are actually yeah. very filled up. Oh, right great. Now. that's yeah. great news for yeah. Nigeria. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. <laughs> now, we see that you've collaborated with Portsmouth University. Yeah. What's the interest of Portsmouth University and how easy is it to get funding for an independent producer like you? Funding, I would say, <laughs> is a big issue for us in the movie industry because um, the way the industry is being shaped right now, piracy. So nobody wants to give you their hard hand money to say, I'm just throwing this money, go and make movie. But you don't know if you're going to make money or not. Because the movie, as soon as you make it, somebody is watching your back. The next day, the movie is out on the street. So collaborating with the Postman University, it, it, it's because there's a huge population of Nigerian students studying in, in, um, in Postman University. That's money, money for them. At least for, I think now is about 10,000 or 8,000 per term Nigerian students actually pay to study abroad, plus the accommodation fee, plus feeding fee, plus electricity, plus everything. So they match up all these things together to say, okay, this Nigerian student, they're giving us a lot. What can we give them back? So when we wrote a proposal to them to say, this is the movie we want to do, we want to educate Nigerians in diaspora and as well as in Nigeria to say mm. modern day slavery is still existing. They jumped at it. That please, yes, they gave us, talk of the equipment you talk about, anything lovely. They gave every, every equipment to us. And the post-production was actually done by the university as well. Wow, well studio. done, well done. And we're glad that you had that much support and yeah. much help. So how can people follow you and follow the pages of your movie to see updates on, you know, I'm sure there'll be giveaways along the line. Oh, yeah, so there's lo lo lots you? of giveaways. I don't know what question are you going to give them. To? Uh -huh. No, so I'm sure you'll be doing it on your social media. So yes. how can they follow you? Uh, Rosalie Sunny, I just say, uh, all social media. All right. Have you opened the page yet for the movie? No. All right. So I'm but sure they can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram. everywhere. Rosalie Sunny, I just say. Uh, Fantastic. And people can win. Can people win um, the tickets to go to for the oh, premiere? Oh, yeah, they can win two tickets. Oh, really? Two really? VIP tickets. Oh, brilliant. To sit beside me. <laughs> yes. Okay, we just might be asking if that's available on our show, so we'll do a giveaway before Friday so that our viewers can be a part okay. of it. Okay, no problem. All right, then. Yeah. Thank you so much. No We've been speaking with Rosalind Sani Adrasse, and she has done a very brilliant film in a strange land, premiering this Friday in Alausa Ikeja, right? Yeah. So uh, the movie will be coming to cinemas on the 2nd day of March, and we hope that you go out on mass to see it. Support, listen, learn, watch it, and know that really modern day slavery is not something that we hear about, it's actually happening. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.